in are on. You are you kidding me? This is literally if it's you are uncomfortable with what, the, what Donald Trump is doing. These f idiots can't even run their own convention right. Like 10 FPS. What the? F How are you gonna run a country when you can't run a live stream? You dumb. F oh my God, Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk coming up. I'm losing it, dude. From Washington, D.C. Oh my Welcome God. Boys, the get the popcorn Republican ready. And pray we must. As grateful citizens of a yes! country we boldly claim to be yes! one nation under God. The more Care your priest them, looks like a thumb, the more godlike he is, brothers. Don't you forget it. Those lives threatened by religious persecution throughout the world are hell yeah by plague religious hunger, persecution drugs, is real brother or... except for muslims pray those guys you know what i'm saying i'll pray to my lord to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all bro this guy killed nazis and now is functionally promoting nazis what an interesting dichotomy good evening i killed nazis so i could be one to be later tonight. in my own country my name is charlie kirk i run the largest pro-american student organization in the country turning point usa fighting for the future of our republic speaking my to you in my King. personal capacity tonight as a 26 year old for decades ruling class leaders in both parties sold out our future to China, to faceless corporations. Obvious. What do you mean, faceless they did it to corporations? Preserve their own this is motherfucker talking about faceless corporations. What about your face, Charlie? It's too tiny for your head. Tiny face. We may not have realized it at the time, but Trump is the bodyguard of Western civilization. <laughs> Trump was elected to protect our families. Bro, schools, just say the 14 churches, words, values. Charlie. Say President it, Trump pussy. Was to Trump is securing the future of our white children, the security future of existence. Here's the difference between the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. I've debated Charlie twice. We are technically peers. He has a much more successful philanthropy organization than I do that gets pumped full of funds from wealthy Republicans. He gets to hang out with Donald Trump. I will never be anywhere near a position of power in the Democratic Party ever for the rest of my life because Republicans love to use their own more radical, further right-wing, younger talent. Democrats, on the other hand, do not like that. All of that is within our grasp if we secure four more years for the defender of Western civilization, our champion, my friend, the 45th president of the United States, President Donald J. Trump. Western civilization being defended is such a meme considering that a Chinese virus destroyed Western civilization. When other dedicated teachers and I served within the unions, we spoke up in defense of children, parents, scientific fact, and American values. For our trouble, we were brutalized, booed off the platform, barred from committees, shouted down, and even spit upon by union leaders devoted teachers ah! but what's even worse is how their agenda of control teacher? deceived elite. what's next do they have do they have like a like a black dude who's gonna be pro anti-abolition of slavery is that is that what's gonna happen next is that anti-union teacher is so funny things are so much better without labor protections what are you talking about actually i don't know is is jlp speaking they would literally have a anti-abolition black guy how the do the Republican Party act like they're pro labor unions? Because they do say that. They say they're pro workers, but then they literally put a, the second person they put up is anti teachers union. They argued against us at the U.S. Supreme Court. His name is Their comrades labeled us spawns of Satan. This is so good. This started off way better than I thought it was going to be. This started off way more boss of the wall than I thought it was going to be. Like, the Democratic version of this would literally be that's having like actual Maoists on stage. That's how elected. far right this country but is. That Republicans can have like anti-labor union teachers without like any sort of scrutiny whatsoever. But like Democrats are such pussies that they're fucking literally like, oh, I don't know. The current the RNC convention speaker wrote a column titled How Public Schools Groom Kids for Sexual Predators Like Epstein and Maxwell. Oh, that's tight, dude. That's tight. That's so sick. My name is Tanya Weinreich. I am from Montana where I live with my husband, my hero, a Marine and retired police officer. What the fuck is this? 
She looks like her hobbies are calling the cops on like 14 year old black girls that walk into the shop. She literally looks like she goes to Walmart just so she can yell at the essential workers about not wanting to wear a mask. Threatened to be shut down from losses that were not our fault. I was scared. I thought of our 50 employees. I'm not too proud to admit that I fell on my knees and prayed, Lord, what do I do? Dude, this is so His sick. Dude, at least American fascism is I very entertaining. You know what I mean? It drapes itself in like small businesses like they give a fuck. By the way, uh, excuse me. Who said the D who said the RNC has no diversity? I just saw two different kinds of blonde highlights, okay? That's diversity enough. Oh god. The free speech defender is logged on, I'm boys. Congressman Matt Gates. I'm speaking to you from an auditorium emptier than Joe Biden's daily schedule. But we are a nation of full oh! hearts and clear minds. Boom, roasted. We settle for Biden. That's the hashtag promoted by AOC and the socialists. The Woketopians will settle for Biden because they will make him an extra in a movie written, produced, and directed by others. It's a horror film, really. They'll disarm you, Horrible. empty the prisons, lock you in your home, and invite MS-13 to live next door. <laughs> and the police aren't coming when you call. In Democrat-run cities, they're already being defunded. Bro, they're allowing swinging out of the gates, dude. The dude, anymore. remember, remember the Democratic the convention where they're like, "Hey, Republicans, like, come vote for us, please. We're gonna do unity." These are like, Democrats will. F Used to write your children by putting MS-13 criminals Cops next door. At the Democrat convention, they say, if you vote against Trump, it will all stop. He's been never win this. the strategy. As a Florida man, I watch our rockets routinely send the brightest beyond the heavens with our flag and our hope. It President should be Trump illegal to run for office if you're from Florida. Florida. Even Florida's own legislators should not be Florida residents. <laughs> everyone, I see every Literally everyone from Florida in the chat is saying, I'm from Florida and I agree. <laughs> Let me remind you, the Democrats have controlled this part of Baltimore City for over 50 years, and they have run this beautiful place right into the ground. Abandoned buildings, liquor stores on every corner, drug addicts, guns on the street. That's now the norm in many neighborhoods. Tax Hello, welcome to the Republican National Convention, control. where black people only speak out about how horrible black people are and how Democrats it's have it's made black people's living conditions horrible. Joe Biden believes we can't think for ourselves, that the color of someone's skin dictates their political views. We're not a monolith! We're not buying lies anymore. I'm a free thinker, damn it! Which is why I'm working with the, the racists! The <laughs> Every time you hear a black conservative speak, just close your eyes and imagine if they were white and you will recognize how insanely racist what they're saying is, okay? Seriously. Yeah, you know how we'll uplift black communities with lower taxes and school choice? Really? What about all the black people that can't leave the neighborhood and not get accepted to the charter school? Now their schools are even further underfunded. And unlike Joe Biden, President Trump didn't choose me because I'm a woman. He chose me because I was the best person for the job. Four oh, years ago, I hate President it. That's Trump such a good a weakness. Any other. That's such a good and weakness to exploit. Days, they literally said, of the they very of openly working, said, we need a black American woman. And now they're just going to constantly say it leadership. over and over again. If you watch the and DC Kamala Harris is literally qualified for the job, the which makes it so much worse. Also, I just want to say, uh, diversity we much. Now we are moving into the darker shades of blonde. This is, I would say, even a brunette highlight. So, Kentucky. Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri. Montana. Literally everyone's white, dude. What the f***? The name is Hassan. <laughs> if you look at this, you'd be like, America is just a America, white ethno state, right? But like a couple territories of indigenous people that we've, <laughs> we've taken over. I love the party of no identity politics doing literally the best identity politics, by the way. Except for this guy. This guy's not white. I love this dude. Oh, this is so good. Jealous? Yeah, I'm jealous. I wish Democrats were this entertaining, dude. Are you kidding me? The DNC was boring as f dude. At least these guys are sickos and they own it. You know what I mean? They're just like, we're f 
I'm crazy, bitch. What do you mean? Come be crazy with us. How many people said they're going to leave America if Donald Trump was elected? They're all still here and they're not going anywhere. Bitch, we can't leave. We can't even leave anymore. We're fucking stuck in this diseased country. All the borders have been closed. <laughs> the only place you can go to now is Mexico. Like literally, it's like Mexico, Turkey, and Greece, I think, if you want to go on vacation. Thanks to him, I'm here. To me, wait, what? He's giving. We are going to appoint justices of the United States Supreme Court. Dude, look at that. By the way, like the VA shit is bullshit. Whatever, he lies about it constantly. But so far, the mention, at the very least, of like vague policies that they always run on, or like a significant goal that people are running for has been uttered a million times so far border wall for national security none of it's real by the way of course they're all lies but it doesn't matter they're psychos but it doesn't matter they're literally telling you to vote for something like supreme court justices huge that is a huge line to so all the liberals who are watching this with me who constantly get mad at me and say hassan you want trump to win you want trump to win take note of all of the things that republicans are doing here and then hold the democratic party accountable to make sure that they also advocate in a similar capacity i knew i had to help any way that i could i deployed to new york in april and then to san antonio texas working as a covid relief nurse in both states and it's fight. <laughs> As I contended with the challenges, President Trump recognized the threat this virus presented for all Americans early on and made rapid policy changes. And as a result, telehealth services are now accessible to more than 71 million Americans, including 35 million children. Yeah, if you got if you got COVID, you can call your doctor. Oh, sick. These motherfuckers literally used the chip as a bargaining chip to DACA up. I cannot believe they're mentioning it right now. Oh my lord, I'm gonna lose it. They literally refused to fund CHIP unless they abolished the, the, the proposal to protect DACA. Child health insurance program. 90% approval rating, by the way. Telehealth will continue to aid many that are just unable to find transportation or a way to the doctor for Bro, in America, if you can't go to the doctor, at least you can call them, dog. This is, it's solved. I didn't realize that all it took was just calling a doctor, dude. Okay, how do I pay for the actual medication? Ah, don't worry about that. You got that telehealth, hun. Hello, doctor. Uh, I'm calling because I don't have enough money for insurance. Oh, don't worry about it, hun. I'll talk you through it as you go into shock. Promise made, promise kept. He is ready, willing, and able to help. He has been responsive. He's done a lot of good things. What the federal government did was a phenomenal accomplishment. Oh, this is so good. Oh, they're such... They're so bad. Oh, they're so bad, but so good, dude. What did they hire? LSF editors, dude? What the... Well, oh, man, they, they they brought in Keemstar's squad to put the clips together. A prompt response led by President Trump cleared Hassan. away the red tape that usually makes drug approvals a long and drawn out process. By harnessing the resources of the federal government and the private sector, President Trump's Operation Warp is Speed Hassan. is accelerating the testing, supply, development, and distribution of therapeutics, diagnostics, and very shortly, effective vaccines to counter COVID-19. Imagine saying Trump had a rapid and efficient response to coronavirus when 170,000 people are dead directly because the first three months of the pandemic, Donald Trump denied its existence, like did not do shit and only talked about how, it still to this day talks about it, how he shut off our borders to China, which again, doesn't mean dick if you don't do anything that's only a time-saving, time-winning strategy. But if you don't do any preventative, if you don't take any preventative measures, if you don't take any actions and mitigation, then it's meaningless. He didn't even quarantine the people that were still coming in from China. And yet, that's all he did. And that's all we're talking about. Like, he's so fast. He was so fast and so efficient. Many people are now forgetting this. And that's precisely why Trump's numbers are increasing. Do not forget this. Do not let anyone forget this. This is all, these are all lies. What do you do exactly? 
clean up everybody's you know, mess and everybody's germs and all that. Can I tell you, that, that world, that profession will never be out of business. You yeah, know that, right? Sure. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. For Thank you. And how about you? Um, I'm a registered nurse, President Good. Trump. I've never, he, I've never seen him be so pleasant. What the f is so weird? Uh, I know many people have said often, interesting things, but it takes a true leader to be able to- Listen, normally we see millionaires and Republican politicians suck Trump off on camera. You don't often see literal working class people suck Trump off on camera. So this is a, this is a interesting change of pace for the normal orgies that we normally watch. I'm a police officer in Inglewood, Colorado, and uh -oh. I contracted COVID in late March and recovered. The really funny part about this is that like Trump has surrounded himself with all these people that got COVID and shit because like the re the reasoning behind it is like these idiots they got COVID because they don't wear masks but also secondly the reason why they have all these people that have recovered from coronavirus is to show how like not devastating it actually is I hope you recognize that that's the only reason why they have so many people that are like oh I've recovered from COVID that's it's not an accident that like half speakers have had COVID already. Look at what's happening in American cities. Cities all run by Democrats. Crime, violence, and mob rule. Democrats refuse to denounce the mob. If Democrat-run cities are wrought with crime, then what about a Republican-run country? Why does this never extend to the presidency? And if the presidency is powerless, then why the are we voting for Donald Trump if people are voting for Donald Trump? Like, this is a question that Republicans should be asking right about now. Oh, if the Democratic-run cities are in, in disarray because Democrats run them, what about an American country that's run by the Republicans? But what I also appreciate about the president is something most Americans never get to see, how much he truly cares about people. Two years ago, our nephew Eli was killed in a car accident. It's a Saturday morning, three days after the accident. I walked to the car to head up to Eli's parents' home when the president called. We talked about a few issues, and then he asked how the family was doing. Dude, said, Trump is the mourner in chief. It's tough. Dude, the president said, yeah, Trump is just like Joe Biden. 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 Difficult. The mourner in chief, they're doing it. They're so young. They're fucking His doing it, too. Is Hassan. Yo, this country is so weird, dude. What the fuck? Dude, Trump mourns extra hard, dude. He is. The griever in chief, dude. Okay, His listen. Joe Sean. Biden doesn't even like know how to fucking mourn. Okay, bitch. My dad knows how to fucking grieve, dog. It hurt my soul to hear the terrible name that people call Donald. The worst one is racist. I take it as a personal insult that people would think I've had a 37-year friendship with the racist. People who think that don't know what they're talking about. 37 years means that he saw Donald Trump's Central Park 5 ad on the New York Times and numerous other New York newspapers where Donald Trump called for the execution of, like, called for the execution of black and brown kids that were innocent. And he said, you know what, I'm Herschel Walker and I'm gonna stay friends with Donald Trump. That's what that means. That's the only thing I got out of this. Good evening, I'm Natalie Harp, a formerly forgotten American from California. What? What does she mean, formerly mister, forgotten? Or I should say. Dude, yo, I'm always thinking about white women, about how forgotten white women are in politics, dude. I because I wouldn't be Especially alive white Republican women. You. The most forgotten. I was the victim of a notoriously deadly medical error. I survived, but only to be diagnosed with a rare and terminal bone cancer. You know, the Democrats love to talk about health care being a human right. But a right to what? Well, I'll tell you. To them, it's a right to marijuana, opioids, and the right to die with <laughs> dignity. A politically correct way of saying assisted suicide. What? Die I had bone cancer, I so f you, okay? If you want to smoke weed, you're a an idiot. <laughs> Rather than, and when I failed the chemotherapies that were on the market, no one wanted me in their clinical trials. I'd make them look bad. They didn't give me the right to try experimental treatments, Mr. President. You did. And without you, I'd have died waiting for them to be approved. Hey guys, you know the fun part about right to try yeah, experiments? Sean. The failed ones can't speak at the DNC. You want to know why? Because they're fucking dead. And God forbid what the next four years would look like. For in Joe Biden's America, China would control our drug production. 
we'd be one step closer to government-run health care. Wait, what? We wouldn't just be unable to keep our doctors. We'd be lucky if we could see any doctor. And even then, some of us would be denied care. For in socialized medicine, you don't beat the odds, you become the odds. And I would lose my right to try, just like Charlie Gard, that terminally ill British baby whose government-run health care system decided it was too expensive and too cruel to keep him alive. George Bailey's father was right. All you can take with you is that which you've given away. And Mr. President, that makes you the richest man in the world, for you have used your strength to make America strong again. Sacrifice the life you built to make America proud again. And you risked everything to make America safe again. It's a wonderful life. You made America great again. And on November 3rd, we Bro, the are bone going cancer to definitely America turned into great. brain cancer. Dude, just remember, dude. Remember, dude. Hey, guys, remember. Please, please, Republicans, please vote for us. Please. Is definitely years away from whatever the we're watching right now which is just like the nhs is bad because they give cancer to babies and let them die democrats want chinese doctors as you can see i'm a man of color and i'm a lifelong democrat too you may be wondering why is a lifelong democrat speaking at the republican national convention and that's a fair question and here's your answer the democratic party does not want black they Hashan. found their john Kasich, dude Pog. This is no time for sleeping in the basement. His name Joe is Biden Hassan. has had 47 years to produce results, but he's been all talk and no action. It's so funny because crossover direction. candidates Perfect. or crossover like politicians are such cucks no matter what. Like the, this Democrat sucks just like John Kasich sucks. Like it's just, it's funny that at least the moderates or the, or the ones that turn on their party are always shitty no matter what i've said this before but it bears repeating the republican strategy of giving every black person that's going to vote for trump a position in their administration or a voice at the podium is brilliant because it makes it seem like there's more than 12 people that are voting for trump in the black voter base it's very similar to the democrats doing the exact same thing with never Trump Republicans, with nearly identical marginal percentages. Walked into Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, and changed my life forever. My name is Andrew Pollock. His name isn't worth saying. One of the seniors walking in the hallways that day was my beautiful daughter, Meadow. She was just months away from graduating and beginning a new life. Remember, Republicans Excuse hate me. politicizing tragedies, by the way. Just remember that. that. They hate it. We'll After she was shot and on the floor, she crawled over to another student, a freshman girl, to protect Jesus her. Jesus Christ, dude. She draped her body over her, and then the scumbag gunman shot my daughter at point-blank range five more times, killing Meadow and the girl she was shielding. If this motherfucker says if my daughter had a gun she could protect herself i'm gonna i'm gonna die if only the teachers were armed or some shit i never wanted this to become a political spectacle but it did i never wanted to meet the president like this you're but at I the did. rnc what do you mean house the truth is i had just buried my daughter that week i really wasn't interested in public events like a tour or a photo op I was interested in answers and solutions. Yes. Bro, the, the Republican plan literally was red flag laws that Trump immediately proposed and then got yeeted. A ban on bump stocks, which wasn't even about Parkland, which also I don't think even happened, but even if it did, it was going to be 10% of the, uh, not even 10%, like it's just insignificant overall. And then the only thing they actually did was a program that offered teachers $500 to get their own Glock. Literally. I learned that gun control laws didn't fail my daughter. Pervert. People did. The gunman had threatened to kill his classmates before. He had threatened to rape them. He had threatened to shoot up the school. Every red flag you could imagine. Wasn't that dude literally a Trump supporter too, the kid? Like he wore like a MAGA hat and shit, or am I misremembering? There's been so many like Trump mass shooters that I don't even know at this point. I, I... Oh, the f Wait. 
Wait, are they going to show the St. Louis? His family yes! have been threatened with violence. Yes! Under reserve. Good evening, America. Yes! We are Mark and Patty McCloskey. We're speaking to you tonight from St. Louis, Missouri, where just weeks ago you may have seen us defending our home as a mob of protesters descended on our neighborhood. America is such a great country that not only do you have the right to own a gun and use it to defend yourself, but you can point it at black people without legal scrutiny. Free advice on how to use it. At least that's what we experienced. What you saw happen to us could just as easily happen to any of you who are watching from quiet neighborhoods around our country. And that's what we want to speak to you about tonight. Dude, this is so sick. That's exactly. The undertones are no streets. longer subtle it nor under. Democrats it no is just directly. They're saying rich white people arm citizens yourselves. The criminals. blacks are coming to your quiet neighborhoods. From honest citizens. It's fucking Not sick. A single person in the out of control mob you saw at our house was charged with a crime. But you know who was? We were. They've actually charged us with felonies for daring to defend our home. On top of that, consider this. The Marxist liberal activist leading the mob to our neighborhood stood outside our home with a bullhorn screaming, you can't stop the revolution. Yeah, which Just is why it's okay to Marxist get your gun out and point it at them. The it's the First Amendment right of the protesters to do that. Lewis. It's That's not it. your Second Amendment right to do that, though, which is precisely why you got charged, you rich f There you go. As a first-generation American, I, mean, this I is... know how dangerous their socialist agenda is. My mother, Mercedes, was a special education teacher from Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. My father, also an immigrant, oh, came to this nation in pursuit of the American dream. Wait, did she say she's a first-generation because of Puerto dream. Rico? What? She's an immigrant from Puerto Rico? What the f If you want to see the socialist Biden-Harris future for our country, just take a look at California. It is a place you would of know California because he used to f Gavin Newsom. What the f She literally dated Gavin Newsom. Doesn't seem like she hated California back then. They want to enslave you to the weak, dependent, liberal, victim ideology to the point that you will not recognize this country or yourself. Listen, sometimes you just got to put the Hitler on. You know what I mean? You just got to really, you just got to really try your best. Dwight Schrute tries to be Mussolini speech. When President Trump commanded the defeat of ISIS, took out al-Baghdadi and Soleimani, and paved the way for peace in the Middle East, that beacon started to glow. <laughs> peace in the Middle East by executing al-Baghdadi, or not al-Baghdadi, by Qasem Soleimani. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders and fighters for freedom and liberty and the American dream, the best is yet to come. Bro, oh, that was so weird. What the fuck? Dude, that was so scary. I I low-key respect Donald Trump Jr. more because, like, how the fuck do you live with that person, let alone have oh, sex with her? I've worked closely with Donald Trump over the last few years, and if there's one constant theme to how he approaches problems, it's how much he cares about the hardworking people that Washington... This guy got shot. P -word. Uh, in the congressional baseball game, but what's actually funny is the fact that one, his policies on on less gun control directly led to that. I'm sorry. And two, he once said that he was David Duke without the baggage. He once literally said he's David Duke without the baggage to get elected in Louisiana. Third most powerful Republican right now in the country, or fourth, I guess technically. After 485 days of combat, I came home eager to enjoy the freedoms I risked my life to defend. But I watched with alarm this as the party of my grandfather, Herbert. a lifelong Union Democrat, turned against the, the very people it professed to represent. Content. Where Democrats once stood for hardworking, law-abiding Americans who displayed our flag with pride, this new Democrat party considers these people uneducated racists clinging to guns and Bibles. The party of Harry Truman became the party of hedge fund managers, Hollywood celebrities, tech moguls, and university professors, all bloated with contempt for middle America. Wait, as opposed to the Republicans who also have contempt for middle America, but they're from middle America. They're just 
fat cats, but from the same, I guess not neighborhoods, but from the same zip code, technically, maybe the same state. To defend my country. It's so strange that they're always like, oh, Democrats are the party hedge fund managers, which is partially true. That is true. Democrats are the, Democrats are the wall street party democrats are technically the party of like they are technically the wall street party for sure but so are republicans and then some yeah yeah in our tent you are free free to speak the truth choose your journey define your life you have the power to you know go unless you're like gay lgbt black brown immigrant un, or related to an undocumented immigrant pretty much everything but either a black conservative who will promote white nationalist rhetoric or just like a white dude we went for or a white lady too to be fair we are america we as americans work together to overcome challenges write our own stories america land of promise land of opportunity land of heroes land of greatness dude, it's gotta be real weird being like, yo, America's so fucking great. I While I there's 30 that. million unemployed people where like everyone's lives are totally fucked. His we are leading the world Hassan. in death. America. Like w from coronavirus. Like what the fuck doesn't feel so great right now? Like do Republicans actually feel great right now? I, there's no way they feel feel great detained. some breaking news in turkey where an american pastor andrew brunson has been released an american jailed in egypt is back in the u.s this morning after an intervention by the trump administration a top oh this is very cool negotiator president trump successfully won the release of detainees and prisoners president trump provided a new spark of hope by bringing up president trump said it was okay that saudi arabia killed an american legal permanent resident who wrote for the washington post because he doesn't like the washington post but he loves the saudi arabian money his retort was they're giving us 10 billion dollars for weapons will you give me 10 billion dollars for american weapons to commit war crimes and do genocide in yemen i think not under this administration america has not and will not turn its back on our people. Unless they're from a country where the king actually purchases a lot of American weapons, in which case, then we will totally overlook it and completely act like it never happened and maintain our allyship. We have six incredible people who were held hostage by various countries. Donald Trump saved six Americans. Meanwhile, 180,000 have died under his watch because of his incompetence on coronavirus. But talk about these six Americans that he saved. Many of the ideas we fought for Man. that were considered radical are now mainstream. <laughs> Stacey the compromise <laughs> that are the <laughs> with. Stacey Abrams <laughs> looks like we'll Bernie and, and our sword. The radical left has taken over the Democratic Party, and Joe Biden is marching in lockstep with them. Tasks. Hey, almost like it would have been pretty tight instead of attacking radical socialism they should have just been like this stuff is insane they're gonna call us socialist anyway we might as well not try to crush uh the the bernie wing of the party but hey what do i know i'll start with a little story it's about an american ambassador to the united nations and it's about a speech she gave to this convention she called for the re-election of the republican president she served and she called out his Democratic opponent, a former vice president from a failed administration. The year was 1984. The president was Ronald Reagan. Fun fact, Ronald Reagan once said African diplomats are monkeys who don't know how to wear shoes in a leaked conversation with Richard Nixon. Just going to put that out there for those of you who don't know. Also, he had dementia and was one of the worst presidents for America, so... Beijing Biden is so weak on China that the intelligence community recently assessed that the Chinese Communist Party favors Biden. They know he'll weaken us both economically and on a world stage. After eight years of Obama and Biden's slow growth, Trump's policies have been like rocket fuel to the economy and especially to the middle class. Biden has promised to take that money back out of your pocket and keep it in the swamp. Is he crying? Dude, what kind of...
Crack For is both Don century. Jr. and Kimberly Guilfoyle on tonight, tonight, dude. Freedom of expression used to be a liberal value, at least before the radical left took over. Now the Republican Party is the home of free speech. Dude, People him crying makes this so much better. You're not He's like literally teary-eyed that Joe Biden is going to silence him. Bitch, if Joe Biden can silence you, then you deserve to be silenced. But a great education cannot be the exclusive right of the rich and powerful. It must be accessible to all. And that's why my dad is pro-school choice. Time. You're so f***ing good. It I'm sorry. Even in this dumbass speech, they shovel children. in their policy in prescriptions to American problems that are that'll exacerbate Trump the problems themselves for it. but they always the do it really there's always like socialism bad Joe Biden socialism sure okay or Joe Biden wants to do cancel culture and silence conservatives choose, but then they'll be like best for the best thing to do for our education system is, is school choice you're like what the where, where does it come from do we want a society that breeds success or a culture that cancels everything it even slightly disagrees with. I know where I stand. Because you see, I am living my mother's American dream. As the night progresses, the day. speeches are getting I'm less and less entertaining. Like they really the started off balls to the wall. And now they're just like, uh -huh, like, come on, vote for us. Like Democrat man bad. Like they're low key turning into the Democrats now. As the night started, shit was wild. Like they were just like, Democrats want to execute coal miners. Like they just want to kill coal miners. Do I need any evidence for this? No, I don't. They just want to purge the rich. They want to. They want to kill their daughters. They want to kill coal miners. And now they're like becoming more like the Democrats. Like, oh, I'm I'm a black Republican. Vote for the Republicans. We're so much better. Like, shut the f up, dude. You this sucks. I realized a quality education is the closest thing to magic in America. That's why I fight to this day for school choice to make sure every child in every neighborhood has a quality education. Dude, black people fighting for school choice is like additionally nefarious because the people that get extra from voucher programs is going to be the overwhelming majority of black kids that are held back in public schools that are already underfunded and will get further underfunded as a consequence of additional privatization it's so weird when when especially like black uh politicians advocate for this shit i don't give a what the what the approval rating is for charter schools and whatever don't come back to me with like oh well technically black people like school shows like i don't care it doesn't matter the reality is what matters i think this was pretty good like they did a really good job for their base they did a whole bunch of shit that i wish uh, democrats would do you know what i mean but Look, guys they hit the cultural tones like cancel culture cancel culture cancel culture republicans or democrats want to do cancel culture the thing is like what you guys got to recognize is they always have weird policy proposals they fit into the conversation just like educating you on the importance of it that's why you have all these like homeschool sickos that believe in queuing on a shit that turn around and they're like yeah school choice we need it it's like what the fuck? why do you care about school choice bitch where did this come from their donors care about school choice they want to dismantle the public education system. So they hammer that in. Every speech. Why the fuck are they talking about it? That's one thing. But most importantly, I always say, what do I always say about the Democrats? I wish they were as vicious about the Republicans as the Republicans are about Democrats. Democrats run around talking about how we, 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 we're going to fucking unite the country. And like Donald Trump is bad, but we have civility on our side. We are going to unite the country. While Republicans are literally like every Democrat wants to fucking rape and kill your children. They want to burn your Bibles and then swap them out with Korans. They want Ilhan Omar to be the president of the country and like institute radical Islamic Sharia. They want MS-13 to, to change neighborhood patrols. Like they want to swap out neighborhood patrols with MS-13 gang members. They don't fucking hold back. They shit on the Democrats on a daily basis. They lie and lie and lie nonstop. The funniest part about this is that Democrats don't even need to lie about the Republicans. They could just say the truth about the Republicans and they would still come across a little bit more aggressive towards them. But yet they're so scared. They're so terrified. And it blows my mind that they just won't, they just won't do it.